here I come to save the day! Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong mouse, man! Hey, we're going to be talking about Danger Mouse, and we're going to talk about wrestling, and we're going to be talking about a bunch of other things. So you know what, brother? Hit the damn music! <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to the Captain Fizz and Mask Guy show. I am Captain Fizz. And of course, as always, I am that Mask Guy, Loco. Y yeah, no, no. I'm sorry, I can't take you seriously when you look at me like that. I it's like I'm a piece of meat and you're trying to <laughs> devour me. You know what? That just might be my E Federation, your know, persona coming out, you know. Never mind. Let's no, just. No, no, what are we no. talking about tonight? Well, obviously, we're not talking about Mighty Mouse. No, no, definitely not Mighty Mouse. Although that would be actually pretty cool. I always did like Mighty Mouse. Here I come to save the day. Usually, it, it was here I come to wreck your day, ruin your day, wreck your day. I don't care. Nah. Uh, so, anyways, they are doing an animated series and movie uh, for Danger Mouse. Um, if you don't know who Danger Mouse is, uh, you're probably not alone. Um, I, uh, I actually remember watching Danger Mouse when I was a kid. Uh, there isn't much I really can explain to this. Danger Mouse is sort of like a... Mouse always in danger. Mouse always in danger. It's sort of like a super spy. Yeah. Uh, he had this little mole sidekick, and amongst his many villains was Count Ducula. Yes, uh, yes, who yes. had his own cartoon show for a couple of seasons. Um, I, I absolutely loved it. I, I believe his sidekick was actually Jeopardy Mouse. It was a mole. It was a mole. It was um, a mole. I don't know who Jeopardy Mouse Penfold. is. Penfold. It was Penfold. There you go. Yes, there you yes, go, yes. dear sir. I got so many names on here. Um, uh, honestly, they all start seeming the same. So anyways, um, Danger Mouse was basically 1981 to 1992. I um, didn't realize it was on that long. Uh, for those people who aren't aware, you can actually find Danger Mouse. I believe it's both on Netflix. For you people down in the States, he's also on Hulu as well. Yes. Uh, so basically this movie or uh, TV series, because they're, they're redoing it uh, with new actors, new actresses, or sorry, voice actors and actresses. We have to call them differently because they apparently have different skills. Um... Really? I'm not loud enough? No, you're not, that, man. That, that, that's something really rare. So, if you didn't hear me, we have to call them voice actors, because apparently voice actors and body actors are completely different people. Bull crap. <laughs> so, this new movie series is going to be on the CBBC... Which is apparently already on it. Now, the I'm, CBBC. I'm Canadian. What Tell the me heck? more about the CBBC. Now, of course, yeah, here in Canada, we have the CBC, which is Canadian Broadcast Channel, which is completely funded by the government. And then there, of course, in you know Great Britain, there is the BBC, which is the British Broadcast Corporation. So wait, wait. Is this the Canadian British Broadcast Corporation? I have no idea. I didn't even know about this until you told me. Um, I, I apologize to anyone out there. I have no idea what the CBBC is. Um, you know what? I'm going to do something. I'm going to do it right now. I'm actually going to Google it. Oh, screw Google. Uh, anyways. Hey, it, hey, it, hey. It's going to appear. Google does not. You do not screw Google. Google screws you. I'm sorry. I have tried Googling. <laughs> 
why Google is relevant and Google cannot answer. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, no, Google fails. Um, so, anyways, it's going to be on Netflix in the spring. So, definitely you know, t- uh, take a look. Now, these a- voice actors are um, kind of no names. I've never heard of any of them before. So, we got Alexander Armstrong is going to be playing Danger Mouse. Apparently, the CBBC is just something with BBC. I think it's supposed to be children's BBC. That's what it is. Danger Mouse was not children. Yes, it was. I don't care. <laughs> I don't think you actually saw Danger Mouse ever. I saw Danger Mouse. No, once. you did not. It was a dark, stormy day. It was 1966. <laughs> and I was sad. Uh, so <laughs> Kevin Eldon is going to play Penfold. Stephen Fry, not related to Philip J. Fry, is going to play Colonel K. Ed Gug is going to be Baron Silas Von Greenbach. Yeah, okay, just let's stop it right there. Is Count Dracula going to be on this show? No. That it's not going to be good. David Lamb is going to play Stiletto Mafiosa and the narrator. I don't care. No Count Dracula. Rasmus Hardiker is going to play Count Dracula. No bastard. <laughs> you know, this reaction was perfect. The ho- withhold the fact that Count Dracula is going to be in the TV show. It was worth it. How can you have Danger Mouth and not have Count Dracula? The fact they that you- better have Count Dracula, darn it. The fact that you consider the possibility... Of Danger Mouse without Count Duckula shows how lack of importance Count Duckula has. And now I want Count Chocula. Ugh, I just want to go back and you know binge watch Count Duckula episodes. Count Duckula! I officially know that's what I'm going to be doing tonight after this show. Count Duckula. Count Duckula. It's just fun to I, say. I won't actually be doing Count Duckula because that's Heaven just forbid. weird. That's just strange. I will be watching Count Duckula. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, John Oliver is going to play Dr. Augustus P. Crumhorn III. I love that name. It's a pretty darn cool name. P. Crumhorn. <laughs> uh, Lena Hetty is going to play, play Jeopardy Mouse. And that's all I really got. Jeopardy Mouse, which I think is Danger Mouse's girlfriend. Maybe, kind of, I don't know. Why are we talking really fast? This is I not have... Speedy Gonzales. This is not the road runner. We only have 45 minutes to get through all this stuff. We have enough stuff to last for the next five seconds. I know. So, you know, honestly, I, I'm kind of happy. You know, if you've listened to most of our shows, and I really hope you have, because we love to talk. And we're pretty sure you love to listen to us talk and pretty much be full of ourselves day in, <laughs> day out. Um, yeah, no, um, honestly, we aim to please, and when we don't aim to please, all we want to do is try to make you laugh. So, yeah, no, no, um, my aiming to please is making you laugh. I enjoy this. I hate miserable people. <laughs> and will you stop looking in your drink? It's empty. There was no drink in your drink five minutes ago. Why would there be one now? I have no... I actually was checking to see if there's any ice. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla, vanilla. We have sunk really low now. I want vanilla ice cream. I don't. Okay. You fail. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> Dave, I'm, I'm excited for Danger Mouse. And, you know, as, as I was trying to explain and I kind of lost my train of thought, um, if you've li- been listening to a lot of our shows lately, we've been very nostalgic. Uh, talking about nineties shows. Well, this is a nineties show, sort of, early nineties. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, no. Um, for the people who are wondering why he's getting late, I'm trying to go off and open up a bottle of pop without actually making a noise. Which is good, because it's a flat bottle of Dr. Pepper. It's flat? Oh, then I don't want any. It's not flat. It's round. Uh, You know, honestly, this could go down as one of my favorite shows, because I get to mess with you all 45 minutes. 
Well, you've already messed with me for what has it been? I have no idea. It's been 10 minutes, so congratulations. You only have 35 more to go. Well, and I honestly believe that for the next 35 minutes, I'm going to sit here, talk in monotone, and stare at you. Okay, so pretty much you're going to do what I was doing for the first 20 episodes of the show then. 15 and a half. Close enough. So anyways, okay. Um, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Victory is mine! Wrestling. Uh, we'll, we'll, what? We'll, we'll talk about wrestling a bit. Okay. There, there's been some interesting news re- re- relaying to Daniel Bryan. Oh, Daniel Bryan. Uh... Apparently, the WWE is sending him in for a third brain analysis to determine whether he's crazy. No, it, no. <laughs> what it really is is that uh, Danny Bryan went off and he saw a concussion specialist and was cleared. However, WWE's doctors are not clearing him. They're and now they're sending him to a third specialist. So you know, Danny Bryan has brought this up: is what is going to happen if this third specialist goes off and clears Daniel Bryan? Is WWE going to go off and uh, reinstate him so he can wrestle again? Uh, he actually went off and stated that he actually had a conversation with John Cena. And John asked him, when, this is, if this doesn't work out, are you going to walk away from WWE? And he has actually stated that he'd be more than willing to go back and wrestle on the independent scene again. You know, um, it, it, and I have to you know, say this. Um, if you look in the NFL and you look in the NHL right now, concussions is a huge, huge deal. You know, uh, a lot of athletes and former athletes have developed mental issues due to concussions. It's not a, you know, a funny matter. And oh, absolutely. This isn't a funny matter. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, a lot of people speculate that Chris Benoit, uh, former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, uh, ended up killing his wife and young son was because of um, he had had multiple concussions. In fact, when his brain was dissected, they actually analyzed it as being the brain of an 80-year-old uh, patient with dementia. Yeah, no, it, it's a really tough subject. and, uh, and there, I Yeah, I mean, this, this really is. I mean, we've had uh, players in the National Football League who have went off and have committed suicide uh, because that you know, has been stemmed from having multiple head injuries. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, I mean, there's nothing, you know, I mean, there's, I can understand why WWE is taking this very serious, but they seem to be taking this much more serious with Daniel Bryan than they have with anyone else before. Well, so it's, it kind of makes me wonder exactly why they're going off in being so cautious with him I, as opposed to other people over I think the years. The big thing with him is, you know, he is such a fan favorite. He is such a, you know, an important icon for the WWE. And if something happened to him where he could not wrestle any, uh, ever again, or um, he ended up doing something because of, you know, like coming back to the WWE too soon after his concussion, that that it would really kind of be a bigger black mark on the WWE than Chris Benoit or some of these other ones would be. Well, I, again, I think this all really stems back to you. WWE is being very cautious of their public appearance. They have went off and completely blacklisted comments that Hulk Hogan went off and made at one of the darkest points in his entire and, life. And yet, Vince McMahon still runs the WWE. Absolutely. I actually went off, and uh, on Tuesday, a buddy of mine wanted actually to see a, a clip where uh, Vince McMahon goes off and drops the N-word. You know, as if he's someone from, you know, the, a rapper from the hood, you know, to John Cena. And so, uh, and he was like, oh my goodness. And I mean, there I've seen other ones where they kind of... Sed- you know, it's been altered to make it sound like Vince McMahon has used it, but this one actually, if it's true, then, you know, you know, Vince McMahon is as guilty as anyone else, because he went off and did this on public, on, like, their television show. Yeah, and I agree. Like, I, I've seen a few clips, and some of them definitely look staged and fake. Um, but yeah, there is that one that definitely does look real and seems real, and he he's been asked about it a few times. 